Dr. Omendra Ratnu operates an NGO assisting refugees from Pakistan. He claims there are over 200,000 refugees in Rajasthan alone and that they are a very scared and tormented people. He claims there are currently 5 million Hindus trapped inside Pakistan, all of whom would leave if they could, but officials have noted they are not able to currently process more than 1,000 visas per month. In 1947, the population of Hindus in Pakistan was 15%, a number that should equate to 30 million today. But only 5 million Hindus remain. 25 million Hindus have disappeared. Why is the world not shouting about this ethnic cleansing and Hindu genocide? According to Dr. Ratnu, Hindus are forced to use non-Hindu names and witness their daughters molested and raped daily. These are very, very scared and tormented people. Every single day, their daughters are molested. They witness it. Three Hindu girls, underage teenage girls are lifted from their homes. Entire village rapes them and then they are sold off in the flesh market. Every single day, three Hindu women let that sink in to everybody who's listening to this. He continues, these five million Hindus are sticking to their religion just barely by their teeth. In a recent high-profile case of abduction of a Hindu girl, the Chief Justice of the Pakistan Supreme Court ruled against her, saying anyone who gets into this religion cannot get out of it, justifying the idea that it is legitimate to do these things against kafirs, infidels, and especially Hindu women. It's a similar story in Bangladesh as reported by Upward. Hindus comprised an estimated 31% of the population in the area of Bangladesh in 1947. This number went down to 19% in 1971, 9% in 2001, and to an estimate as low as 2% today, or approximately 15 million. Whereas a healthy Hindu population of 11 million from 1947 in Bangladesh should equate to over 45 million today. Where have all the Hindus gone? As many as 25 to 50 million Hindus have gone missing in Bangladesh. The Hindu Holocaust goes back over 1,000 years and continues today. Over 500 million Hindus have brutally lost their lives. It's time for Hindus to stand up and make their voice heard, recommit and rediscover the authentic spiritual truth of the Vedas Agamas the spiritual strength and powers of the living ecosystems of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. It's the only possible way to move forward without violence. Ahimsa, committing intensely to the life and spiritual living every day of the ancient civilization of enlightenment. If you feel responsibility is a power, you make your life successful.